Hello, my name is Peter Andre and I'm an Associate Professor in Political Science here at Carleton. I've been uh, using community service learning in my courses for about the last 10 years, both at Carleton and at Trent University before that. Um, and I have community service learning placements in, from first year courses right up to graduate level courses. With the graduate upper year courses and graduate level courses uh, really being research projects that tie into my own research. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about my experience with using community service learning in a large first year class. I have about 100 students in my class, which is an introduction to global issues uh, that has a focus on uh, food security issues around the world. And students in this course, as part of the first assignment, are able to choose, and about 60% of this class of 100 do, to do a community service learning placement as the basis upon which they write their first assignment for the course. Uh, these, they can sign up for uh, essentially an afternoon or an evening working with a community organization that deals with food issues like the Ottawa Mission serving lunch to homeless people or the, the uh, Ottawa Food Bank packing boxes and uh, they go to these uh, placements either with myself or with a TA or with a student mentor from the student experience office and essentially our role on that, uh, on that visit is to get them to think critically about the experience and they take that critical thinking and connect it to course themes and readings and write about it in that first assignment. The students who don't do the community service learning are basically required to do more library research as a way to also write that first assignment. One of the things that I've learned is that students need some coaching on how to draw specific examples out of their experience connect it to the themes of the readings and write about it in the assignment so there's some coaching involved in the lecture time and I also find I have to coach the TAs on how to evaluate that kind of writing because it's a different kind of writing than the traditional essay. So the last thing I should mention is that I did have help from the student experience office in initially making these contacts with community organizations and they proved really useful in setting that up at the first time and, and now I just sort of work with them from year to year. Uh, the students get a lot out of this experience. They particularly find that it allows them to see that the, what they're learning theoretically in a course is actually happening in the real world, even in a place like Ottawa. We talk about global issues, but these global issues are even at work here. Um, and they also find that it allows them to, to connect to parts of the population here in Ottawa that they might not otherwise have connected with and to really learn that food security is an issue that affects all kinds of food insecurity affects all kinds of people from all kinds of walks of life. Um, from a pedagogical point of view, I find that uh, having this experiential education thing really allows, yeah, it, it makes the course more meaningful for the students and so they really get more engaged in the course material. Um, the advice that I would give to any instructors who are thinking about doing community service learning with a larger course of 50, 100 or more is to create these experiences only for a portion of the class to start with. I actually started with only 40 placements and now it's up to 60% of, of the 100 students. This allows you to kind of work from year to year and see how it's going and develop relationships with the community organizations. Um, and it also means that in the end you're, we're sending students out into the community who really want to be there. Uh, and I, sh I should also say that in the end for, I wouldn't suggest for a first or second year course that all the students do community service learning or that we require it because it takes extra time out of the schedule. It doesn't fit all the students' schedules, so it's important to make it optional and, and combine it with other ways of fulfilling the expectations of a, an assignment. So my experience has been good. I'd be happy to talk more with people here at Carleton, and uh, good luck trying it.